All right, welcome everybody to Viper Magic's channel. This is the latest in another series of Brent reviews. Here I am on travel again. Same hotel, different hotel room. You might notice the pattern of the chair is exactly the fucking same. But anyway, we just beat, we being me and no one else, just beat, I'm gonna show you the cover, but it's not, not gonna tell you because Jim got the collector's edition. God of War on PlayStation 4. This is it. See? God of War. Um, wow. Wow. What a game. That, here we go. Here's the inside of the steel book. I don't understand these steel books. I think they're actually made out of aluminum, technically. But oh well. What a game. <sighs> you know, um, I borrowed this from Jim. And uh, this is one of the reasons I wanted to get a PlayStation 4 this year was to play this game after it got... Such good reviews, such hype coming out, and also Spider-Man, which is coming out in a couple weeks. So that's exciting. Um, but man, I can definitely see why this is everybody's, you know, game of the year so far. Now, will Spider-Man beat it out? Probably not. Will Red Dead Redemption 2 beat it out? Probably. But uh, I think this is the game to beat so far. For me, is it the best game I've played this year? I think so. Uh, I know for Jim, I think it was like right away he said this was the game of the year, but uh, it took me a while to get into this game. I, it took me a while to get into the combat. Um, you know, I had just played, you guys have saw the review, played God of War 3 Remastered, you know, like less than a month ago. So I was used to the, bush, the button mashing style of that game, and then uh, the more tempered... Um, combo oriented stuff here is uh was definitely a change and it took me some getting used to um i love the way the story to was told you know you have the lore stuff that's added and you know each time you find a piece of lore there's some something else additional to read but it wasn't that long which was very very nice you could just access it with a button press that was also cool instead of like press menu press this go here go here took you instantly to that piece of lore and it was uh, short enough that you could, um, you know, read it very quickly and then get back into the game. Whereas, like, other games, like, I think I remember playing Doom, and you got a piece of lore on, like, a weapon or an enemy or something like that, and it was, like, this teeny, teeny, tiny text on your TV screen, and you had to, like, almost squint, and then it was, like, paragraphs of stuff, and it's like, dude, nobody wants to read this shit on your television screen. Same problem with Destiny 2 and their lore in the Grimoire, Destiny 1, whatever the hell. Um, it, it, well, actually, no, Destiny 1 didn't have it on the game, that's right. But, um, you know, the storytelling ways with, uh, the conversations just being between Kratos and it, Atreus, boy, um, you know, and Mimir and the dwarves and, uh, the witch and the stranger, um, you know, I, I don't know if I want to call him the stranger. I mean, there's a little bit of spoilers here. I don't think it's a big secret that he's called Balder. Does anybody really know who Balder is? No, no one does. Unless you're steeped in uh, Norse mythology, you wouldn't know that he's Thor's brother, another one of Odin's sons. Um, although the Balder here in this game is very, very different than than the Balder that I know from the Thor comics, and I guess that's okay. But I think in the regular Norse mythology, Balder was a very like noble guy, and here in this game, he's just a dirtbag, and that's fine. I mean, Zeus is not supposed to be a complete asshole, and he, as he was in the God of War games, um, you know, so there's that. But I thought all the characters they chose, you know, there wasn't too many characters, which was nice, too. They got development for uh, the witch, for Balder, for Atreus, and for the God of War, for Kratos... And that was about it. Like, those those main four characters and a little bit of Mimir, even though he was, like, the uh, exposition guys you're walking through stuff, those four main characters all got an arc. They all got it completed. And that was very cool. Um, I, I, everybody's staying away from spoilers and stuff and for this game, and I don't think it's that necessary to know that, uh, you know, you and your son are on a quest to scatter some ashes on a mountain... I don't think is a big spoiler and stuff like that. What happens at the end of that mountain is a spoiler, but that's at the very end of the game. And um, 
you know, that was something I did not see coming that last little bit is his true name. You know, I kind of guessed his true nature a little bit in the middle of the game. I was like, well, you know, Kratos, we know Kratos is somebody, so he's hiding something. So what's his wife hiding? Um, so that was, that was, you know, I mean, what else could he be? You know, a couple other things. That's it, especially in this world. Seeing the world snake, though, I thought that was awesome. One of the things I wish the Thor movies had in Ragnarok was this world snake. Um, I can't even remember the thing's name. So it's got such a long name. But in the actual Ragnarok myth, Thor is supposed to do battle with the world serpent and defeat him. And, you know, they're supposed to, like, kill each other in battle and stuff like that. Uh, in the Thor Ragnarok movie, we did get Fenris the wolf. And you saw him fighting Hulk briefly. He did have, have Surtur destroy Asgard and all that stuff. Um, you know, I thought that was cool, but, um, you know, I thought, uh, I thought this was very, very good. Very, very good. Nolan North and Troy Baker in this? Who were they? I don't even remember. Um, that's weird. Anyway, um, the enemies were great. I thought the combat was great. When you got the, your second weapon, I used the, uh, used the second weapon, I think, the most once it was acquired. I did go back to the axe, and it was only at the very end. I was traveling through Muspelheim doing the, the trials there, and I did a straight run, and um, I, I actually did all the trials of Muspelheim straight in a row. The only one I had uh, difficulty with of the trials was the one where it's like, don't get hit. Every other one I deleted first time, first try. I think the one that was don't get hit, I did maybe five times. You know, sometimes I got hit right away, but once, you know, I got into the groove of it, it made sense. And then it was only then, at the very, very end of my, like, play session, that I discovered all these extra attacks if you're holding, like, the light attack button with the axe or um, R2 and stuff like that. Because most of the time, I was just, like, tapping R1, R2 with, you know, like a combo thing. I wasn't, like, holding it. And even though I was reading all the runic attacks and stuff, that has other things to do so I didn't quite understand that there's other stuff now that I know I'm gonna go back and uh try and get some better armor and stuff to defeat these Valkyries I have three left I think three or four I think I got three so anyway I was doing the Muspelheim thing and then I, you get to the there's a Valkyrie at the very top of this Muspelheim thing and it took me it felt like two hours I think I spent probably three hours doing the trials of Muspelheim but it I spent a long time on this Valkyrie and I will insert at the end of the video, the video I shot at the end of when I defeated her, I was so happy, I was so overjoyed, felt like Kratos because I had discovered all these attacks and I was dodging everything and I was like putting all my skills to the test. And um, so I'll insert it here. It's, I hope you'll get a kick out of it. I got real excited. Um, but God of War, PS4, this is a great game. Looks great in 4K. Looks great on a 1080p TV here in the hotel. Luckily, I have a nice big t TV in this hotel. Rolling credits right now. And, um, you know, looks great in performance mode at 30 frames a second as well. Or 60 frames, I think, in performance mode as well. So, very, very great game. This is like a 5 out of 5. This is a 10 out of 10. Um, wow, that's a that was a good game. It did take me a while to get into it, That's but that's okay. But... Once I got there, I think over the last couple of days, I've really gotten my my hooks into this game. Um, you know, once I got there, I was very, very happy playing it. And I'm definitely going to go back for some more and see if I can get some more of these Valkyries and stuff like that. Um, so there you go. God of War. If you haven't played it, go pick it up. This is the Steelbook. Um, go explore the journey of Kratos and Atreus. And enjoy my reaction coming up next to, uh, you know, just feeding this Valkyrie. So anyway, thanks from Viper Magic's channel, Jim and Fantas and all the guys. Just me and him anyway. Uh, everybody over there, please like, comment, subscribe down below. And now enjoy this reaction. Uh, I have defeated the Valkyrie of Muspelheim after two fucking hours. More. Straight run through Muspelheim, defeated every single one. I am the god of war. Oh, 
Feast your eyes upon the beauty of this dead Valkyrie. Oh, yes, finally. Mm, fucking. Mm, mm.